Hi, welcome to RLB Art Box Studio video instructions. For the month of January, we will be learning how to create a quilled snowflake. Quilling or paper filigree is an art form that involves the use of paper strips that are rolled, shaped, and glued together to create a decorative design. Step one, lay out all of your supplies and look over your visuals. Then choose your mat board and a bundle of paper strips for your first snowflake. Step two, with the round slotted craft stick, curl a paper strip over the tool, breaking down the fibers of the paper. Then insert one end of the paper strip into the tiny slot in your round craft stick, then start twirling the tool. The paper should wrap around the end of the tool, making a coil. Once the paper is completely rolled, carefully pull the coil off the slotted tool. You can allow the coil to expand or you can keep it tight. Once you have it the way that you would like it, you will glue the outside end piece, which is known as the tail, using the glue pen. You want to apply a generous amount of glue and then hold for about 20 seconds. For my snowflake, I will be using four loose coils and two tight coils. Step three, to make a triangle, use the flat craft stick and a strip of paper. Wrap one end of the paper strip around the craft stick while applying pressure, then wrap the remaining paper strip. Carefully pull off the paper strip and allow it to expand into a triangle. Then glue the tail using the glue pen. For the snowflake I am creating, I will be making six triangles. Step four, to make an angle, you will fold a paper strip in half, fold it back and forth, and then carefully tear. Now you have two shorter paper strips. You will fold the halved paper strips again, and now you have an angle. For this snowflake, I will be using four angles. Step five, to make a V scroll, you will follow the same steps as you did when you created the angle. You will start with a folded piece of paper and then you will use a quilling tool to curl each end of the paper. To make the V scroll smaller, you will want a smaller folded strip of paper. As you are making your quilling shapes, Remember to try all the different tools provided for you. They all will have a different outcome. For this snowflake, I will be using four larger V scrolls and two smaller V scrolls. Step six, I'm going to be showing you how to make a few more quilling shapes. The first shape that we're going to start with is a rounded petal. To make a rounded petal, you will take a strip of paper, break down the fibers, then you will bend the paper so the ends meet. Once bent but not creased, you will apply a generous amount of glue using the glue pen. You will hold the two end pieces together for approximately 20 seconds or so, and then you should have a rounded petal-like shape. To make a pointed petal, you are going to begin exactly the same way. You will break down the fibers of the paper, bend the paper so the ends meet, apply glue, hold the paper strip until the glue has set and they're stuck together. Once stuck together, you will pinch the rounded portion of the paper so you have a pointed end of the petal rather than a rounded end. The next quilling shape is an S scroll. To make an S scroll, you're going to roll one end of the paper until you get to about halfway. 
Once rolled, you're gonna flip the paper over and roll in the opposite direction until you meet the other coil that you created. Once all rolled, you will notice that you have created an S scroll. To make a heart, you're going to take a strip of paper, fold the strip of paper in half, open it up, curl each end of the paper inwards until you have two coils that are touching. Once the coils are touching, you may need to readjust them. You may also want to refold the paper and you will then notice that you have a heart-like shape. To make a teardrop, you will begin by creating a coil. Once you have your coil, you will carefully glue the end, which is known as the tail, using the glue pen. Once glued and secured in place, you will carefully pinch one side of your coil. Once pinched, you may want to coil up your paper a little bit more, make the coil a little tighter on the inside, and to do so, you will use the tweezers provided. To make the marquee, you will simply pinch the other end of the teardrop. Once pinched, if the paper becomes undone or unglued, you will want to reapply glue using the glue pen and hold the paper in place for approximately 20 seconds. Step seven, place your paper quilled pieces on the mat board to create a snowflake design. Once you have your quilled pieces in place, you can begin gluing. Now you have a choice here with glue. You can use the glue pen, which I tried, and I found that I didn't like it as much as the other option. The other option is to use the white tacky glue provided along with the craft picks. I found that this works much easier when attaching your quilled pieces to the mat board. When gluing down your quilled pieces, you want to start in the middle and work your way outwards. The tacky glue is very sticky, so a little dab will do ya. It goes a long way. Another trick when gluing down your quilled pieces is to use the tweezers provided to hold on to your pieces. You can also hold on to your pieces and dip them in the glue if you'd like to try that. Continue gluing down all of your paper quilled pieces until you have an amazing snowflake design. Remember those tweezers? They come in handy. Step eight, using the craft picks and the tacky glue, apply glue spots all around your snowflake. Don't be shy.
onto the sparkle. Use the fake snow and sprinkle the fake snow over top of the glue spots. Once completely covered with fake glittery snow, shake off the excess fake snow and what you are left with is a beautiful snowflake design that you have created. Congratulations on your finished art project, Quilled Snowflake. We hope that you enjoyed this art project brought to you by RLB Art Box Studio. Be sure to share your finished work of art on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love to see what you're creating with Artbox.